In this video I will compare the best two G-Shocks in the market. The G-Shock GSD is a beautiful design, refined, tough, functional, I honestly think this in one of the best watches design period. You can say that is a mixture between an AP Diver and a Hublet Big Bang. It has a lot of substance and refinement. It is fun and functional. Casio has just come out with a new GST model, the silver one. This one I believe. It is the best G-Shock watch on the market, the reasons are simple, metal case combined with carbon, Bluetooth connectivity but you don't need to use a charger, it is solar powered, hybrid dial. This is analog hands and LCD screen. Also for style, it has a tapered band. This new GST is a smaller than the old GST, the black one. I believe this silver GST has the perfect size, it is a big watch but it looks pretty good in my 6 and 3 quarters wrist. Height is good and band is not too thick, thick band do not look nice in my opinion. Usually G-Shocks tend to have a wide band. Sometimes they use a double buckle. Yes that feature may be practical, but it looks horrible in my opinion. On the old black G-Shock I love the dial, and believe it or not I love the fact that it doesn't have a seconds hand, so clean, I have gotten very good comments on this watch. One thing that I have noticed while wearing these watches, is that they are great for travel, they both have world time. You don't have to be guessing the time with a fourth hand like in the Rolex GMT. In these watches you have a second screen to see the second time. There you have it. These are the two best G-Shocks in the market, they are gorgeous, functional and modern. The list price for both is $280. If I could only have one I would choose the new GSD B200. That one is a home run for Casio. I have been wearing it non-stop for two weeks now, it killed all my other watches. You have to love the attention to detail, for example, the hands in the dark version have a black outline, while on the silver one, the hands are silver, they could easily use the same finish on both to save money but they didn't. Also if you see the digital screen, the silver G-Shock has a silver font and inverted screen, while on the black G-Shock. It is also an inverted screen, but the font is brownish to match the style. Same thing with the bezel screws, the black one has brownish looking screws. These are some incredible cool looking watches. Thanks for watching.